Within You Without You is a song written by George Harrison and released on the Beatles' 1967 album Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. The song was Harrison's second composition in the Indian classical style, after Love You Too in 1966. The lyrics reflect his introduction to Hindu philosophy and the teachings of the Vedas, following Harrison's seven-week stay in India with his friend and sitar teacher Ravi Shankar. Recorded in London with musicians from the Asian music circle, the song marked a significant departure from the Beatles' sound. Harrison's embracing of Indian culture was further reflected in his choice of yogis such as Paramahansa Yogananda to appear on the Sgt. Pepper album cover. With the worldwide success of the album, Within You Without You presented Indian classical music to a new audience in the West. Released during an era of changing social values, marked by the Summer of Love, it also influenced the musical and philosophical direction of many of Harrison's peers. The song has traditionally received a varied response from music critics, some of whom find it boring and sanctimonious in tone, while others admire its musical authenticity and consider the message to be the most meaningful on Sgt. Pepper. Writing for Rolling Stone, David Frick described the track as being at once beautiful and severe a magnetic sermon about materialism and communal responsibility in the middle of a record devoted to gentle technicolor anarchy. Sonic Youth, Angels of Venice, Oasis, Patti Smith, Cheap Trick and The Flaming Lips are among the artists who have covered Within You Without You. Background and Inspiration George Harrison began writing Within You Without You one evening in early 1967 while at the house of longtime Beatles associate Klaus Fuhrmann, in the North London suburb of Hampstead. The inspiration for the song came from a conversation they had shared over dinner, regarding the metaphysical space that exists between individuals and prevents people from recognizing the oneness that unites the world. Following this discussion, Harrison worked out the melody on a harmonium and came up with the song's opening line, We were talking about the space between us all. It was the second Harrison composition to be explicitly influenced by Indian classical music, after Love You Too. Since recording the latter track, for the Beatles' 1966 album Revolver, Harrison had further immersed himself in the study of the Indian sitar, partly under the tutelage of Ravi Shankar. He later said, I was continually playing Indian, sitar exercises called sargam, which are the bases of the different ragas. That's why around this time I couldn't help writing tunes like this which were based on unusual scales. Within You Without was the first of many songs in which Harrison's lyrics fully espouse Hindu spiritual concepts. Author Joshua Green writes that when composing it at Fuhrman's house, he summoned up not a song but a universe. Harrison had become fascinated by Hindu philosophy and spirituality after he and his wife, Patty Boyd visited Shankar in India over September a year on October 1966. Intent on mastering the sitar, Harrison first joined other students of Shankar's in Bombay, until local fans and the press learned of his arrival. Harrison, Boyd, Shankar and the latter's partner, Kamala Chakravarti, then relocated to a houseboat on Dal Lake in Srinagar, Kashmir. There. Harrison received personal tuition from Shankar while absorbing religious texts such as Paramahansa Yogananda's autobiography of a yogi and Swami Vivekananda's Raja Yoga. This period coincided with his introduction to meditation, and during their visit to Vrindavan, he witnessed communal chanting for the first time. The education he received in India, particularly regarding the illusory nature of the material world, resonated with Harrison following his experiences with the hallucinogenic drug LSD. Having considered leaving the Beatles after the completion of their third U.S. tour, on August 29, 1966, he also gained a philosophical truth while he struggled with the effects of the band's international fame. He later attributed Within You Without You to his having fallen under the spell of the country after experiencing the pure essence of India through Shankar's guidance. As his inspiration for the structure of the song, Harrison used a musical piece that Shankar had written for All India Radio. Composition Within You Without You is in Mike Solidian mode, or rather, Kamaj Tart, the equivalent in Indian music. Written and performed in the tonic key of C, the song is structured around an exotic Mike Solidian melody over a constant CG root fifth drone, which is neither obviously major nor minor in scale. 
The structure of the composition reflects Harrison's advances in comprehending the Indian classical genre since recording Love You Too. In his book Indian Music and the West, Jerry Farrell writes of Within You Without You the overall effect is of several disparate strands of Indian music being woven together to create a new form. It is a quintessential fusion of pop and Indian music. Peter Lavezoli, author of The Dawn of Indian Music in the West, describes the song as a survey of Indian classical and semi-classical styles in which the diverse elements are skillfully woven together into an interesting hybrid. If anything, the closest comparison that might be made is to the Hindu devotional song form known as Pijan. The song opens with a very short alap played by the tambourers, then Dilubawala Samandal is gently stroked to announce the pentatonic portion of the scale. A tabla then begins playing a 16-beat tintle in a madal layer and the Diruba plaintively backs each line of the verse or gat. The first three words are sung to an EFG bar and register trademark melody tritone interval that enhances the spiritual dissonance sought to be evoked. The composition consists of two verses followed by a chorus, an extended instrumental passage, and a final verse and chorus. From the start of the second verse, an eleven-piece string section enters, playing a series of unusual slides to match the Indian music idiom, where, Lavezoli writes, the melody is often played legato, rounded with microtones, rather than staccato as in most Western music. Author Ian Ingalls considers the line with our love we could save the world to be a cogent reflection of the summer of love ethos, anticipating the message of Harrison's composition It's All Too Much, and the John Lennon written All You Need Is Love. The instrumental passage involves the tabla switching from the 16-beat tintle to a 10-beat chapter cycle. As a pointed counterpoint to the verse echoes of ancient Vedantic philosophy a sword draw begins in May 4 time between first the Diluba and Harrison's sitar, then between the full western string section and Harrison's sitar, this tellingly resolving into a melody in unison and together stating the tihai that closes the middle segment. After this, the drone is again prominent and the samandal plays on ascending scale, followed by a lone cello and descending scale that leads to the final verse in 16-beat tintle ending with the notes of the diluba left hanging, until the tonal and spiritual tension is relieved by a muted use of canned laughter. Polak considers that there are two likely interpretations of the use of canned laughter. The first is that the presumably xenophobic Victorian Edwardian era audience implicit in the Sgt. Pepper band and concert concept is letting off a little tension of this perceived confrontation with pagan elements. The second holds that the composer is engaging in an endearingly sincere nanosecond of acknowledgement of the apparent existential absurdity of the son of a Liverpudlian bus driver espousing such otherworldly beliefs and sentiments. Production. Equals recording equals. Harrison recorded Within You Without You for the Beatles' Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, an album based around Paul McCartney's vision of a fictitious band that would serve as the Beatles' alter egos, after their decision to quit touring. Harrison had little interest in McCartney's concept and admitted that, following his return from India, my heart was still out there, and working with the Beatles again felt like going backwards. After it was decided to omit only a northern song from the album, the song became Harrison's sole writing contribution to Sgt. Pepper. Lave Zoli writes, but if Harrison was only to be allotted one composition, he was going to produce something special. The recording features musical contributions from only Harrison, Beatles' Abe Neil Aspinall, and a group of uncredited Indian musicians. As with his Indian accompanists on Love You Too, Harrison sourced these musicians through the Asian Music Circle in North London. According to author Alan Clayson, Harrison missed a Beatles recording session to attend one of Shankar's London concerts, an absence that served as fieldwork for Within You Without You. The basic track was recorded on March 15, 1967 at Emmys Abbey Road Studio 2 in London. The participants sat on a carpet in the studio, which was decorated with Indian tapestries on the walls, with the lights turned low and incense burning. Harrison and Aspinall each played a tambura, while the Indian musicians contributed on tabla, diluba, samandal and tambura. The session was also attended by Lennon and John Barham, an English classical pianist and student of Shankar who shared Harrison's desire to promote Indian music to Western audiences. According to Barham, 
Harrison had the entire structure of the song mapped out in his head, and sung the melody that he wanted the Daruba player to follow. The twin hand drums of the tabla were close miked by recording engineer Jeff Emerick, in order to capture what he later described as the texture and the lovely low resonances of the instrument. Equals overdubbing and mixing equals, the first of two overdubbing sessions for Within You Without You took place at Abbey Road on March 22. Two more Daruba parts were added that day, played by an outside musician, after which a reduction mix was carried out, to allow for further overdues onto the four-track recording. Producer George Martin then arranged the string orchestration, based on Harrison's instructions. Martin's score for eight violins and three cellos attempted to imitate the slides and bends of the Dilubas. The orchestral parts, performed by members of the London Symphony Orchestra, were added on April 3. During the same session, Harrison recorded his vocal and a sitar part, the solo of which, in the description of music critic David Frick, sings and swings with the clarity and phrasing of his best rockabilly-fired guitar work. Harrison also overdubbed occasional interjections on acoustic guitar. On April 4, while preparing the final mixes of the song, in stereo and mono, Harrison added crowd laughter taken from a sound effects tape in the Abbey Road Library. The completed recording was enhanced in the mixes through the liberal application of automatic double tracking. Before Harrison recorded his vocals the previous day, the track had been edited and sped up sufficiently to reduce it in length from an original 625. In the process, the song's key was raised a semitone, from C to C. Release Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band was released on June 1, 1967, with Within You Without You sequenced as the opening track on side two of the LP. Green notes that for many listeners at the time, the song provided their first meaningful contact with meditative sound. In his 1977 book The Beatles Forever, Nicholas Schaffner likened Within You Without You to Hermann Hesse's side Tarth in a Euro an influential novel among the emerging counterculture during the summer of love a Euro in terms of the song's evocation of Hesse's idealization of individuality, and vision of a mysterious East. Speaking later about Sgt. Pepper, Harrison described it as a milestone and a millstone in music history, although he also said he liked the record's iconic cover. For this, he chose pictures of Indian yogis and religious leaders a Euro including Yogananda, Mahavatar Babaji, Lai Rimakhesara and Sri Yukteswar a Euro to feature beside images of the Beatles. Among the song's lyrics, printed on the back cover, the positioning of the words without you behind McCartney's head served as a clue in the Paul is Dead rumor, which grew in the United States partly as a result of the Beatles' failure to perform Live After 1966. In 1971 the song was issued as the title track of an EP release in Mexico. Part of a series of Beatles releases sequenced by Lennon, the EP also included the Harrison-written tracks Love You Too, The Inner Light, and I Want to Tell You. In 1978 Within You Without You appeared as the B-side to the Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band Slash with a little help from my friends Medley, on singles released in West Germany and France. An instrumental version of the track, at the original speed and in the original key, appeared on the Beatles' 1996 outtakes compilation Anthology 2. Critical reception equals Contemporary reviews equals, Recalling the song's release in his book The Beatles' Diary, Barry Miles writes, Some thought it a masterpiece, some a prime example of mock philosophical babble. Either way, it was pure Harrison. David Griffiths of Record Mirror praised the album's musical and lyrical scope, which included life-enhancing philosophy, and added, George Harrison's Within You Without You is a beautifully successful and adventurous statement in Song of a Yoga Truth. The Times of India Euro a Euro show Euro s music critic similarly admired the Beatles for explore, in farther reaches in the musical firmament, and described Harrison's composition as a memorable track that sounds quite Indian with sitar and tabla accompanying his philosophic thought. In one of the few unfavorable reviews for Sgt. Pepper, Richard Goldstein, writing in the New York Times, said the song was remarkable musically and a highlight of the album, yet he considered the lyrics dismal, and full of the very glitcher copywriters that Beatles helped bury. Writing in the NME, Alan Evans found the deep rich rhythm of the tabla most appealing, although he bemoaned that it was difficult to decipher the lyrics, 
because they merge with the sitar music so closely. In a review published five months after the release of Sgt. Pepper, in which they considered that the album had not endured as well as the Beatles' previous works, Hit Parade I opined, Harrison has produced a soothing, sinuous, exotic sound for Within You Without You. But even though his repetitious recitation of elementary Far Eastern philosophy is probably intended to reflect the infinity of the universe, it soon becomes a bit monotonous. The laughter at the end seems to be deflating the pretentiousness of the lyrics. Equals retrospective assessment equals, the song has continued to invite widely diverse opinions. Writing in 1988, author and critic Tim Riley dismissed Within You Without You as dull and directionless, adding that it was the most dated piece on the record. And could easily have been left off with little to no effect on the album. Ian Ingalls a Euro author of the Harrison title and prodigious singer-songwriter series a Euro disagrees with this last point, writing that the song's presence is absolutely central to the form and content of its parent album. Among other Beatles biographers, Ian MacDonald views Within You Without You as the conscience of Sgt. Pepper and a necessary sermon that comes with the community singing, and Kenneth Womack terms it quite arguably, the album's ethical soul. Writing for Rough Guides Chris Ingham admires the track as beautifully put together, and describes it as both some of the most exotic music released under the Beatles' name, and a philosophical meditation on life and love beyond self. That is perhaps the most ultra-copyright five minutes of the album but, once surrendered to, is a central part of the Pepper experience. Harrison and Lennon biographer Gary Tillery writes, Within You Without You was one of the most original and distinctive songs the Beatles ever created a gem in the album generally considered the pinnacle of their career. And only one Beatle could be given credit for it. In his book The Beatles, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, Alan Moore considers that Harrison's command of the quasi-Indian medium is of a very high order, and, with regard to the song's message, he states, in its explicit, prescient call to the me generation, perhaps within you without you is a key track expressing the deepest commitment to the counterculture. Writing for Pop Matters in November 2009, Ross Langager opined, Sgt. Pepper is about Britain, and The Summer of Love was always about America. The only song on the album that approaches the ideology and rhetoric of the hippie counterculture was George Harrison's sole contribution, The Lush Sitar Washed Within You Without You and it follows that Harrison was the only Beatle to have visited Haight-Ashbury at the peak of the scene. Even then, Eastern philosophy informed the lyric more deeply than did acid culture, and it's still a dense and stunning composition no matter its ideology. Among reviews of the 2009 remastered Beatles catalogue, Neil McCormick of the Daily Telegraph described Within You Without You as door, droning, and consequence of sound grouped it with the major clunkers on Sgt. Pepper. Sputnik Music deemed it to be vital to the album's diversity of instrumental material. All music critic Richie Unterberger admires the nice haunting melody, but he considers the track over long and notes the potential for offense in what was the first Beatles song where, Harrison's, Indian religious beliefs affected the lyrics with full force. Writing for Ultimate Classic Rock, Dave Swanson describes it as a heady masterpiece of ethereal drone that captures the pure bliss of 1967. In full bloom while musically exploring previously uncharted pop group waters. Following Harrison's death in November 2001, Ira Robbins described Within You Without You as the song that most clearly articulated his devotion, both artistic and philosophical, to India, with a lyric that pairs worldview and personality in lines that now seem prophetic. Robbins concluded, whether he was warning others or testing his own conviction, the admonition stands. The time will come when you see we're all one and life flows on within you and without you. Joe Basso of Music Radar wrote in 2011 that although Harrison had already introduced sitar, tabla and other Indian instrumentation to the Beatles sound, the song served as his Indian music coming out party, and he praised the recording as a glorious, David Lean-like panorama. Writing for Rolling Stone, David Frick includes the track on his list of the 25 essential Harrison performances. He describes it as, variously, Harrison's purest excursion. Interaga while with the Beatles, and at once beautiful and severe, a magnetic sermon about materialism and communal responsibility in the middle of a record devoted to gentle technicolor anarchy. 
Cultural Influence and Legacy. According to Michael Gilmore, also writing for Rolling Stone, Harrison's interest in Indian culture spread like wildfire among his peers as well as their audience. Author Simon Leng writes that, Within You Without You, and Harrison's leadership of the Beatles into Vedic philosophy, sparked the entire fashion for Indian music and a million backpackers' pilgrimages to Kashmir. Juan Mascara Cubed, a professor in Sanskrit studies at Cambridge University, wrote to Harrison after the song's release, saying, It is a moving song, and may it move the souls of millions. And there is more to come, as you are only beginning on the great journey. In the opinion of New Yorker journalist Mark Hartsgaard, the lyrics to Within You Without You contain the album's most overt expression of the Beatles' shared belief in spiritual awareness and social change. Harrison's espousal of Eastern philosophy dominated the band's extracurricular activities by mid-1967, such that, author Peter Doggett writes, with Harrison's emerge, Enka's the champion of all things Indian. His power within the group increased. This in turn led to the Beatles' public endorsement of transcendental meditation and their attendance at Maharishi Mahesh Yogi's spiritual retreat in Rishikesh, India, early the following year. Stephen Stills was so taken with the lyrics to Within You Without You that he had them carved on a stone monument in his yard. John Lennon also admired the track, saying of Harrison, his mind and his music are clear. There is his innate talent, he brought that sound together. David Crosby a Euro, whom Harrison acknowledged as having introduced him to Shankar's music a Euro described Harrison's fusion of ideas as utterly brilliant, adding, he did it beautifully and tastefully. He did it at absolutely the highest level that he could, and I was extremely proud of him for that. Music critic Ken Hunt describes the song as an early landmark in Harrison's championing of Shankar, and Indian classical music generally which gained real global attention for the first time through the Beatles' commitment. Peter Lavezoli also highlights the effect of Sgt. Pepper and its spiritual centerpiece, Within You Without You on Shankar's popularity, during a year that served as the Amis Mirabilis for Indian music and a watershed moment in the West when the search for higher consciousness and an alternative worldview had reached critical mass. Gary Wright recalls listening to Within You Without You over and over in the summer of 1967 while touring Europe for the first time, and he says, I was transported to another place of consciousness. I'd never heard such sound textures before. Writing in the 100 Rock Icons issue of Classic Rock magazine, in 2006, singer Paul Rogers cited the track to support Harrison's standing as the Beatles' musical medicine man. Rogers added, he introduced me and a generation of people worldwide to the wisdom of the East. His thought-provoking within you without you a euro with sitars, tablas and deep lyrics a euro was something completely different, even in a world full of unique music. Love Remix, Within You Without You was included on the 2006 remix album Love, with Harrison's vocal mixed over the rhythm section from Tomorrow Never Knows. The opening lyric, Turn Off Your Mind relax and float downstream. It is not dying. It is not dying, comes from tomorrow never knows, as does the set of reversed sound effects utilized in the mashup. During part of the second verse of this version, the drums and bass are silenced, replaced by the tabla percussion of Within You Without You. Harrison's vocals are heard in the song's intended key of C major. Pop matter Zeth Lundy wrote in December 2006, the Within You Without You slash Tomorrow Never Knows mashup, perhaps the most thrilling and effective track on the entire disc, fuses two especially transcendental songs into one. A union of two ambiguous, open-ended declarations of spiritual pursuit. Paul Moody of Uncut similarly considered Within You Without You slash Tomorrow Never Knows to be the best of all the mass-ups on love, with the two tracks cosmic drones. Fitted together like a glove. All of the music for Love was remixed and remastered by George Martin and his son Giles. Speaking to Mojo editor Jim Irvin in December 2006, Giles Martin said that he first created a demo combining Within You Without You with Tomorrow Never Knows, which he then nervously presented to McCartney and Starr for their approval. In Martin's recollection, they loved it, which allowed the project to proceed. The Love remix is one of the songs in the Beatles, rock band. Cover versions, Big Jim Sullivan, 
a British session guitarist who became proficient on the sitar, included Within You Without You on his album of Indian music style recordings, titled Sitar Beat and first released in 1967. In the same year, cover versions of the song were issued by Peter Knight and his orchestra and the soulful strings. In 1988 Sonic Youth recorded Within You Without You for the Mi Euro A Euro Show Euro S multi-artist tribute Sgt. Pepper Knew My Father. Big Daddy covered the song in 1992, on a tribute album that Moore recognizes as the most audacious interpretation of the Beatles' 1967 release, on which Within You Without You was the cleverest pastiche, performed in a free jazz style reminiscent of Ornette Coleman or Don Cherry. Guitarist Rainer Ftasek opened his 1994 album Nocturnes with what all music critic Bob Gottlieb describes as a stunning instrumental reading of the song, recorded Live in a Chapel in Tucson. A version by Angels of Venice appeared on their self-titled album, released in 1999. Big Head Todd and the Monsters contributed a recording for songs from the material world, a tribute to George Harrison in 2003. The following year, Thievery Corporation covered the track on their album The Outer National Sound. Patti Smith included it on her 2007 covers album 12, a version that, according to BBC music critic Chris Jones, sounds like the song could have been written for her. Firefall, Glenn Mercer, R. Stevie Moore and Les Fradkin have also recorded the song. Other acts who have covered Within You Without You for Sgt. Pepper tributes include Oasis on a BBC Radio 2 project celebrating the album's 40th anniversary. Easy Star All Stars, on Easy Star's Lonely Hearts dub band. And Cheap Trick, on their Sgt. Pepper Live DVD. In 2014, The Flaming Lips, with feature guests Birdflower and Morgan Delt, recorded it for their Sgt. Pepper tribute with a little help from my FWENDS. Dead Can Dance's 1996 album Spiritchaser included the track Indus, the melody of which was found to be very similar to that of Within You Without You. After the band then obtained Harrison's blessing, according to singer Lisa Gerrard, the record company pushed it, with the result that they were forced to give the former Beatle a partial songwriting credit. In 1978, the Rootles parodied Within You Without You on the track Nevertheless, performed by Ricky Fatar. Personnel, Personnel per Ian MacDonald. George Harrison a Euro led vocals, tambura, sitar, acoustic guitar, uncredited Indian musicians a Euro dilubas, tabla, samandal, tambura, Neil Aspinall a Euro tambura, Eric Gruenberg, Alan Loveday, Julian Gaillard, Paul Sherman, Ralph Elman, David Wolfstill, Jack Rothstein, Jack Green a Euro violins, Reginald Colbay, Alan Ford, Peter Holling a Euro cellos. Notes. References. Sources. External links. Full lyrics for the song at the Beatles' official website.